Welcome back to the video blog one more time, the Huxton Trend. Guys, I know you lot been getting absolutely crazy for this all week, man. All week people been shouting me on your Snapchat saying, Huxton, man, we're going to get that fake versus real Stone Island out. Super pumped about this one. What have I done, guys? What have I done? I've gone and bought that Stone Island micro rep, micro rip stop, then down jacket, guys. This one. So many of these going around on eBay, man. So many of them. And they're looking really, really good, I'm not gonna lie. They're looking so good. They've got the, um, got the 30 logo there inside. Materials looking half decent. Got the badge there. Even gone and put the old tags on there as well, guys. But don't fear, man. We're gonna be looking at this at more detail. It's super scary how these fakes are going on. And actually, real quick, before I uh, move on and start do doing a quick review of that, I need to apologise to a lot of you because the last um, fake versus rule that I've done with the polos, and the first thing I said was there was a little label on the um, neck tag, and I said that Stone Island don't do that, and that if you see that label, it's fake. And when I said that, as soon as that video went out, tons of you got in touch with me, man, saying, Huxton, man, why are you telling everyone that I've got a fake top, man? It's not cool, bro. Lots of people getting really upset. So I need to do a big apology to all you guys. That was a mistake on my behalf, guys. I should have studied that item a lot more better, okay? So that, that Stone Island was a total one-on-one -on -one straight copy, man. It was such a good copy, that one, guys, okay? But yeah, that tag on the neck, that is on the original. So stop bullying your mates if you see that on their top, okay? That's that. So guys, without further ado, let's get this fake versus rule on the way. Let's see what he's saying, okay? Bam! Two seconds. So guys, here we are, man. Fake versus Ru. I've done so many of these now, man. And um, this particular piece that I got in here, this so-called micro ripstop, then seven, then down jacket, guys. There's tons of this on the old eBay, man. Lots and lots of people. I've had a browse through eBay, and there's tons of people selling it, and they're all selling the same thing: factory seconds or second goods, and da da da. The funny thing is, I didn't even think that this. Um, I didn't even think that this jacket existed, but it actually does. So I've done some research on it and you can see it right here, guys. Micro rip stop, micro rip stop seven, then down jacket. And you can see it right there on the Stone Island website. And that's what it's meant to look like right there, okay? It was originally 550. This is the US um, Stone Island site, but that's the jacket right there, right there. And I actually had a jacket which was very, very similar to this one. And I reviewed it, it was a black, I had a black one and a blue one. But those have been sold, so I thought it was that jacket, but it's not. It is its own jacket, okay? So guys, let's get on the way with the review, man. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe to the channel, guys. There's lots of cool things coming. And don't forget to smack that like key, guys, okay? Also, really, really quick, guys, shout me on the old Snapchat. And don't forget to shout me on the old Instagram. All the details are going to be on the, on the screen below. So shout me. Let's get in touch, okay? Anyway, let's crack on with the review. This is that. So guys, look, got this micro um, rip... Keep getting a, keep, such a bloody tongue twister this one, man. Micro Rip Stop 7 Den Down Jacket, man. Stone Island always trying to do tongue twisters for us. Trying to make us confused and that, but anyway, there we go. I didn't have the original of this jacket, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare it to the Stone Island um, overshirt that I bought in Germany. I haven't even worn this one, man. It's just been sitting in the bag, waiting for the summertime, really, to try and bust this one in the springtime. But we can see it's got all the labels and everything there. So I thought this might be a fair comparison for both of these jackets. Okay, so anyway, first things first on this jacket. The first thing I noticed, guys, is the material is not very nice. All the um, elements seem to fit what an original Stone Island um, jacket would, would have. Like all the buttons, are, as you can see, are all engraved there, as you can see. Um, and again, it's very, very similar to the original right there, just comparing the two. You can see that the um, engraving on the original is a lot more stronger than the um, copy one there, but it's not too far off at all, guys. Not too far off. The detailing on this jacket, I ain't gonna lie, it's spot on, man. It is one on one. But the one thing is, as I say, the material, it, it's really poor quality, guys. Really substandard quality. It's not very good at all. And that was one of the ways for me to kind of spot straight away that there was something up with this jacket. Okay. Um, another thing I would like to look at real quick, 
Ah, oh, it's a shame, man. I don't have it on this jacket. It's this little bit here. I don't know what it is, but this always looks really weird to me when I see it on the fakes, and the stitching's always a little bit off. And it shouldn't be, man, because the Stone Island, the original Stone Island, it shouldn't be like that, man. I don't even think I've got any Stone Islands to show you. They're all wrapped up in, a, in bags now, because I'm not even busting any Stone Island at the moment. Um, so I don't have anything to show you. But yeah, usually the stitching on this is a lot better. And it just seems to be like some little faults in the bit there when it's kind of gone off at the end. And even the font, the text, it just looks a little bit dark to me. This doesn't look right. I mean, you have to have seen quite a few of these to kind of know that there's a, there's a problem here. But again, if you didn't really know and you saw it straight off, you'd think it was genuine, man. No doubt about that. Just want to check the old zips on there as well. See what the zips are saying. <clears throat> Bam, here we go. You can see they've got what They've even put the YKK zips there on that jacket um, unfortunately this jacket doesn't have it's not zips so I can't even show you the zips for, for comparison on there let's just see if we can look at the labels and see if there's any differences there I mean again just like the Stone Island polo man what we can see there that what Stone Island have done is they've used like a black um, thick black um, what's it called stitching going along there and they haven't even used it for there so I'm not sure if that's if that's going to be a proper way for, to spot whether um, an item is fake or real but yeah, again, looks spot on, man. So scary how these guys have got this down to a T. Um, just look on the buttons inside there. I mean, that should really be YKK in there. It doesn't say YK. It does say it on the kind of zip part. On the pull hang there, it says YKK, but there's nothing else on the zip. Whee! Man, these counterfeits, guys. They're getting too good. I mean, I'll be honest with you. The only way that I could spot that this was 100% fake is to go through the whole 30 logo process guys that is that is the main one and as well as that I mean if you even this one if you feel the material of this the material yeah it does feel light it's like a crinkle type material but there's just a certain texture and feel to it it just feels right well when I feel this one it just feels like a bin liner to me man doesn't even feel very cool at all so yeah not feeling that the guy was shotting this for 170 as well so 170 I mean this one was um, 300 for this one I got over in Germany and I know it's a little a, a little bit more, but I don't really rate it. And the other thing that I want to say to you guys as well, the other thing I want to say to you guys, for you, a lot of you out there that are saying, yeah, man, I'm going to bust a fake. See this little label right here? See this little label right here, guys? On the tag, you can see, look, all of the Stone Island, all of the Stone Island badges, they should all come with this here, E-A-C. This little, um, this little um, logo here, basically means that all the garments that Stone Island have uh, manufactured have to go through a safety process guys okay they have to go through a safety process they have to make sure that the materials and the chemicals and everything that they're using inside this jacket is sound as a pound and there's going to be no problems this jacket right here is made in China by a counterfeit it hasn't got no EAC label there we don't know what safety procedures this has gone through it's probably gone through zero which means the materials the glues the stitching whatever they've done whatever materials they've used to make this jacket can't be trusted guys okay i was reading the, i was reading the article on um canada goose and they were saying that a lot of the materials in the, in the fake canada Go canada, canada gooses can have bacteria they can have um glues that can that can be poisonous so guys i'm just saying man fakes you might as well stay clear of it man because you can't trust these counterfeiters you can't trust them to be making safe goods that's my opinion Anyway, let's have a look at the badge real quick. Let's see if we can notice anything on the badge. Because one of my mates on the old, um, I forgot his name now, but one of my mates on the old Instagram was saying that you can just use the, uh, you can just tell by the drop stitch whether a badge is genuine or not. And you can clearly see here that this one, this is the genuine, this is the fake one right here. And it's even got the drop stitch, man. Look at that. Even got the drop stitch. And even the original one here, you can't even see the drop stitch too tough. You can only see it very, very slightly at the end there. But on the other side, you can't really see it. Look at the difference between the badges, man. The only difference really is that the, the bottom one, which is fake, the green is just a little bit thin. And it's not as green as the top one, man. That's the only kind of difference is. If we look at the back, they've even got the material right at the back, man. Look at it. Absolutely ridiculous. The only thing I would say on this one is if you look at... One of the ways that I tell is if you look at the... Um, the box that they've done with the yellow thing it's just too straight man it's just too straight it's not meant to be that straight if you can see in there you can see it doesn't look too straight guys 
compared to the um, compared to the fake one okay see the fake one there on the bottom see the genuine one on the top you can see that the bottom one is really really straight but again that's a really tough way to tell man really really difficult way to tell the tag and everything all of this stuff it looks absolutely correct which is just so annoying man really really is annoying so I guess what we have to do guys real quick is we have to go through the 30 logo process so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through this really really quickly with you so that you guys know exactly how to use this okay so let's let's crack on with it the first thing I'm gonna do is look for my um, QR code scanner which is right there BAM I've done this on the last video but I want to try and go through it with you real quick so that you lot can see what it's saying okay let's have a butchers right right okay so it's scanned through now valid code redirecting to the authenticator let's have a look say logo where did you find this product online right so online um, eBay just get on with it I'm gonna just click anything Bam, have you received this product? Yes. So say, what type of um, label is it? Is it this one? So I'm gonna click yes over there. Bam. Fake, there you go. Sorry, but your product is fake. Request fake report. So that's it guys, you know. So difficult man, everything looks absolutely correct, I mean, you can see some of the finishing here is a little bit crap. Um, yeah. <clears throat> but everything else looks absolutely amazing. I guess one of the ways you could try to use the spot is to make sure, because as far as I'm aware, and I'm sure you guys are going to correct me on this one, because I know some of you are hardcore on this thing. But for me, all of my Stone Island, as far as I'm aware, comes with this EAC certificate right there. That little badge right there ensures that all the products have gone through a safety procedure, whereas this one has none, okay? Um, just looking at these two together here, this QR code looks a little bit lighter. The, the label looks a bit a little bit lighter than that one. But again, you know, unless you've got another one to compare, you're never gonna know, man. You're never gonna know. Way too difficult. So that's that, guys. That's the fake versus real, man. That, the only way to be scared to be um, knowing for sure whether these jackets right here are fake or real is to scan, man. You've got to scan the code now. You just can't. There's not enough detail on these types of jackets for us to identify whether it's fake or real, like what I'll show you on the Montclairs or on the uh, proper Stone Island jackets. And because these jackets are quite easy to make for the counterfeiters, they don't have to do anything special into this. They don't have to put it in, put it in an oven. They don't have to re use reflective technology. They can simply just use some simple materials for this one. This is why they like counterfeiting these ones, guys. It's a lot easier for them, okay? So that's that, man. That's that. I hope that's been helpful for you guys. Um, I know a lot of you have bought these because you've sent me pictures that you've bought these guys, okay? From now on when you're buying your Stone Island stuff, I would really yes, recommend you to, unless you know how to spot fakes, is to always just buy the ones that have the 30 logo and scan them when you get them, okay? So guys, that's that for now, man. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you found it really helpful. Remember, guys, shout me on the old Snapchat. Send all your queries, all your bits and bobs through, and don't forget to send me your pictures on the old Instagram, okay? So guys, that's it for now, man. I've got a um, monthly designer collection video coming up tomorrow, and I'm still going to be showing you all that stuff from Idol Man, okay? So bam. Hope you all have a good evening. Catch you in a bit. Peace out.